Think of your emotions like a pot of water. The goal of a pot of water is to get it to boil, right? As great as it would be to put that cold pot of water on the stove and for it to immediately boil, that would save me a lot of time in the kitchen. The reality, like our emotions, the pot of water goes through a bunch of different stages. Once put on the stove, the pot of water takes some time before it gets warm. But eventually steam rises, the water gets hotter, bubbles form on the top, and eventually it bubbles. Like that pot of water, athletes who understand that their emotions have a bunch of different stages have an advantage of reaching their goals faster because they can make good choices when their pot of water goes from cool to warm and warm to hot because they recognize that their brain is sending them alerts that something feels off. Now, an average athlete thinks of big emotions like excitement, those welcome emotions, or the more unwelcome emotions like anger, or frustration, fear. As a light switch, they like all of a sudden it's there or it's not. The reason that many athletes stop being able to reach their goals is because they act as if those big emotions are either on or off. Those athletes are only making choices when they're way up here with their water boiling. Oh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to go back in the gym and get all my skills. That's not when we're making our best choices. Or I'm so angry. Oh, I have to throw this right now. And then they try and throw this skill. And most of us know it's not always a good outcome when we're trying to make choices with our water boiling. It's those athletes, the champion-minded athletes, who pay attention to their signs from their brain that they're maybe feeling a little unsure or that something doesn't feel right and take a deep breath and take that information in. Noticing their pot of water is feeling a little warm or it's heating up that start to make appropriate and good choices, which actually help them reach their goals faster. How does this apply to you? Well, like me, I'm starting to get excited because I'm seeing my favorite gyms around the world starting to open up again, finally, after two, two and a half months. Athletes, even those champion-minded athletes who have been doing all their team workouts, have been doing Zoom sessions, have been conditioning their weaknesses, are still gonna go back to the gym and notice that their emotions might feel a little warm. And it just might be nervousness of being with your coaches. Or your pot of water might be hot because you're expecting to throw the same skills you did pre-pandemic. Ladies, gentlemen, the reality is your bodies are not the same as they were two and a half months ago. So it is normal for you to get on that floor and for things to feel different, whether it be because it's a different surface or because you're now all of a sudden tumbling with many other people. There are many different things that are occurring to give your body signs and symptoms of why it's starting to heat up. If you are someone who wants to reach their goal faster, here is the plan. Pay attention to when that water is warm or hot before it starts to simmer and make good choices at that point in time of stopping where you're at when your water is hot. Think of ways to get that water to warm or cool down by taking a deep breath, going to grab a drink of water, or maybe using your mind to remind yourself that you don't need to be where you were two and a half months ago right now. Maybe it's gonna take a couple weeks to get those hot water skills to become cool again. But eventually then those simmering skills will just become hot or warm. But if you jump to those boiling water skills and ignore those signs and messages from your brain, you're unfortunately gonna see the consequence of 
fear like a light switch coming on and you're not going to enjoy the habits that result from that. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, everybody, be well.